and over the last four years, more heating air conditioning has gotten more calls for service because of winter conditions. And in just the two weeks, the company tells Georgina Fernandez it saw one-third more calls than it did earlier this season. As temperatures dropped these past two weeks, calls to heating service companies spiked up. One company tells me they saw an increase of 300 calls per week. It's been a busy two weeks. We're fighting a lot this year. For more heating, an air manager, Robert Merchant, and his team. As they try and keep up with record-breaking snowfall and cold temperatures. Especially when you get two weeks into the negatives, uh, the, just the equipment starts breaking. He says since temperatures started dropping every day, his team's receiving about 60 more calls than normal. Many of them emergencies, like someone not having heat or hot water. If we don't get to them quick enough, it is, it's usually freeze up. That freeze up, Merchant says, is especially true with the long periods of negative temperatures we've seen. That's where they have to be on top of it in regards to uh, making a call. Right now, with more of those quick service calls coming in, customers should expect longer wait times. Every company in town is busy. And that's when Merchant says having a backup heating source is key. Having a safe uh, heating unit that you can either plug in next to uh, water heater, boiler, furnace. Merchant says his team has also gotten a lot of calls about freeze up and humidity in the homes. He says that's because standard humidifiers struggle in this low of temperatures. In Anchorage, Georgina Fernandez, Alaska's News Source.